And I am Marty Bass. When David met Goliath, David won. In 2024, in the world of lacrosse, there's a David facing off against Goliath and is winning. What a great story we have for you this morning. WJZ and 9 starts right here, right now. Thank you. Well, lacrosse, we know, is a big sport here in Maryland. Mm -hmm. And Marty is with a local company making quite the splash in the world of lacrosse. Oh, yeah, they are definitely making quite the splash. The Keneally brothers, Mike and Greg, um, twins, played lacrosse, Loyola Blakefield. Yep. You were known as the stick doctor. Every high school team has a stick doctor. Hey, my stick isn't working well. Can you string my stick? Can you fix my stick? Mm -hmm. Every high school team has a stick doctor. Now you guys go to college, you continue playing lacrosse, and now you decide you can make it better. Welcome to ECD Lacrosse, and welcome to WJZ at night, Greg. Right? Thank you for having us. We're really excited to have you this morning. It's a pleasure. Mike. Yeah, thank you. We really appreciate you coming in. Now we're going to give the backstory coming up after the break, but understand how this has grown. We're in a 30,000 square foot facility that employs 30, 35 folks full time and a lot of high school students in the summer stringing lacrosse sticks. And believe me when I tell you, coast to coast, the big boys are looking at these revolutionary heads, these, the, the, these, these, these sticks, and they're going, who are, like Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid, who are these guys? That's what the world of lacrosse is doing. And we're with these guys this morning and proud to be here back at TV Hill. All right, thank you, Marty. ECD is making a name for itself in the lacrosse world. Yeah, Marty is in Towson with the story behind the local company that's really just taking over the country. Marty, good morning. Uh, they, the, these guys are making big waves. ECD, East Coast Ties, how did that come about? Uh, well, I started it in my bedroom right after I graduated college. Thought it'd be fun to just tie some sticks, string some sticks instead of uh, going back to work at the country club. And uh, from there, I put them on eBay. I built my own little website, put them on Craigslist. People came to the house. Just however I could sell ahead was how I was doing it. And now it's just ECD because it, it's, it's, it's better for branding. I mean, East Coast dies and lacrosse didn't quite. What was the genesis moment when you two guys, you're both CPAs, said, whoa, we're going we're gonna to start this company? Uh, I think it was when we took about 800 orders on Black Friday in 2012. We kind of looked at each other and said, probably worth abandoning our career and giving a shot at this company and seeing if we can make it work. And now you've got like 30, 35 employees. We're, we're doing a 30,000 square foot building. We're going to go back in the warehouse next half hour. And you were telling me in the summer you employ high school kids to string the sticks. Yeah, I think now with, uh, since I started YouTube, people learn how to stream much earlier. Everybody knows how to do it now because we put out a lot of how-to videos, and now we get all these kids uh, to come in and string these great pre-strung sticks that hit the shelves at places like Dick's Sporting Goods and Lacrosse Unlimited. And, 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 it's a great, and it's a great summer job for them. Mm -hmm. But what got it to the point that on Black Friday you went, oh, man, what's going on here? I, I think just a better mousetrap. We had a better product at the time, and that started to catch fire, and word of mouth, and people told three other people, told three other people, and we started to grow. Word of mouth is the best advertising. What makes it a better product? Uh, well, I think early on with the mesh, um, other lacrosse companies weren't focusing on the pocket very much, and when you really break it down, when it comes to performance of the stick, the pocket's the most important. So uh, we put the focus on how the pocket works, how it works when there's bad weather, and players are noticing maybe they didn't need a new head, maybe they just needed their pocket to be a little better. Which, and, and, and a pocket's a whole lot cheaper than that new head. That, that's correct, uh, and it's the most important part of the stick. You can take a uh, a bad head and string a great pocket and play just fine. Interesting about the bad weather. My son played lacrosse, so I'm a lacrosse parent. And you're right. That weather thing really plays into it. Yeah, I mean, it, it pours down. Those fields get muddy. The pocket starts to bag out. And unlike football or other sports where you have a direct connection with the ball, you need that stick to be between you and the ball. And if it's not performing, you're not going to have a great game. This is just a tremendous local story. And again, we're thrilled to be here. Coming up next half hour, we are going to go back into the warehouse that has its own AstroTurf field, as you would expect. There's much more coming from Towson and ECD Lacrosse next half hour. Now back to TV Hill. Thank you, Marty. A local lacrosse company is sticking it to the competition. Marty Baz is getting the story behind ECD Lacrosse. Hey, Marty. Hey, we're with Greg and Mike Kennelly uh, here, ECD Lacrosse. We're in Towson. What a facility you've got. Listen, first off, I love, and the reason I'm holding the mic cable is because we're getting ready to take a walk. 
I love the crab logo. Who came up with that? Yeah, the crab logo was something I made, I think, in PowerPoint myself. It used to have the Maryland flag and some mesh in it. Um, when I originally designed it over time to make it more nationally appealable, um, we did just the solid blue, but I think the crab still speaks to our home in Baltimore. And your home in Baltimore is, we, we call it the lacrosse center of the known universe. Mm -hmm. You guys have gone international. Yes. Your Japanese, your Japanese distributor. <laughs> yes. Okay, if you want to go ahead and take a walk and show them how big this this operation has got, your Japanese distributor. Yeah, well, Lacrosse has really grown in Japan, and we've got a great retail store over there, and they're actually coming in this week to visit. So, a great time. But you're not only in Japan. You were talking internationally speaking. Mm -hmm. How many how many countries you're in? That, there's probably seven or eight that we'll sell to. Australia is pretty big, and then England, and uh, a bunch of different countries in Europe, and they've got a big. Uh, uh, you know, box tournament in Czech uh, Republic. So it's really growing overseas. So it's really, hence, why it's going to be included in the Olympics. Yeah, we've got Olympics in 28 uh, going out to California. They had a record for the World Games of teams participating, places like Jamaica, Costa Rica. It's really amazing the growth of the sport. Okay, so are you guys, as a business, are you thinking to yourself, we're going to make hay while the getting's good, you're going to try and get in on this Olympic thing? Uh, I think we will. I think we'll try and get our products in there and sponsor a couple of the maybe the smaller countries and help them out, get them some gear. This past World Games uh, was last year. We sponsored Jamaica and Puerto Rico. That's wild. And then you, you tell me you're distributing to all 50 states. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and some of the more western states are some of our most popular. Sports really growing in Texas, Florida, California, Utah. It's unbelievable. Well, Colorado, Denver. Colorado, Denver is huge. That's a hotbed out there. Uh, it's really growing. It really honestly is. Tell them your website. Uh, ecdlax.com. We'll string your stick. We got heads, shafts, accessories, balls, everything you need. It's just a, a, it's a great local story. Earlier I said, you know, a David and Goliath, because let's face it, the world of lacrosse is pretty big, but you don't have 35 employees. You don't have a 30,000 square foot building. And you all are only seeing a quarter of it. There's an area this big to K2's right and another building to the side of this one. Yeah. Hey, listen, Craig, thank you so much thank you, for hosting us, yeah. Mike. Thank you, Marty. Thanks we appreciate you coming in. All right. We're going to go ahead and throw it back to TV Hill. All right, Marty. Thank you so much.